Pilots, Drain Man here, and today I've got a video that is about to blow your mind. The FPV drone frame game has just changed forever. This is a groundbreaking frame that I am honestly super excited about. I want to show you guys, but even more so, I just want to build it for myself. These guys hit me up. We did a video call. Super cool dudes. My man Ken said, hey, you got to check this out. So we did, and I did, and it's here, and I want to show you guys and you are not going to want to miss this. Let's go. <laughs> All right, pilots. So let's go ahead and dive into the elephant in the room. This thing is gorgeous and you're probably like, what the heck? Or you're probably thinking, whoop de do a 3D printed camera cage. Ah, whoa, so what? But pilots, this is not a 3D printed camera cage. This is a nylon injection molded camera cage that is the entire face and body and mm, front force of this drone frame. And when you smash and bash and nothing happens because this is up front, it's just the beginning. Because as you dive deeper into the frame, you start to learn that this thing is built right and it's built to last. They, they literally told me, we want you to bash it. So before we dive into the frame too much, I'd like to go over the background of the company just a little bit. It is called It's FPV, and it's two dudes from Germany who just honestly wanted to build something that would last for themselves. So they built this frame. It took them over a year and a half because they wanted it to be perfect. And when they got done and they said, you know what? <laughs> This thing just doesn't break. They thought, you know what? We need to manufacture it. We need to get it out there and we need to share it with the FPV world. And that is what they are doing. A year and a half later, it is perfect. And I can't wait to try it and fly it. I just assembled this puppy and I am impressed. I really am. We jumped on a video call and we went over the specs and the more I dove in and the more I talked to these guys, the more I could see they are serious about what they're doing. They know what they're doing and they've tried and true and tested each and every part of what has become the era FPV frame. All right, so let's go ahead and dive into the frame. The very first and foremost important thing that we must discuss is this camera cage. This is a super durable injection molded nylon camera cage with 7075 aluminum. Wow. And if you weren't liking the gray, which I honestly do, it also comes in orange. Look at this. And I know you're probably looking at it thinking like, oh, eh, that's probably not all that in a bag of chips. It is. How can I demonstrate this? I, I, let me try. I'm going to try to crush this right now. And please forgive me, it's FPV, if I break this because you'll have to send me another one. But I am going to crush this right now with my fingers. You ready? <laughs> oh, my God. So as you can see, I mean, I took the weakest point. Look at this. There is no support right here. See this? This is all wide open. And I tried to crush this with all of my force. And I'm not BSing. I got no reason to lie to you. If it broke, it broke. And sorry, guys, you need to try better next time. I would still finish the video and I would still show it because it's still a cool frame. But the bag is hard. It didn't even budge. <laughs> All right, let's continue to move through this frame because I want to get into a build video. Number one, you've got six millimeter arms and they've got these three prongs coming out. And what that's doing is that's protecting your motor. So when you take a hit, you're not all motor. The carbon itself is up to 55% stronger than regular carbon fiber of the typical FPV frames. I'm not saying they all use that, but generally it is a T800 bottom plate and T700 arms and top plate. So you'll take your camera cage. I'm going to grab a camera here and I'm going to slide this off. And inside of the cage, you just, before you assemble it to the frame, and it's just five screws if you want to take it off. It's not a big deal. Oh, this is a great visual for you to see where the aluminum is actually injection molded. This is not pressed in. This is not placed in. This is 
hand squirted injection molded. Everyone is crafted and looked and inspected and put together with special machinery and special parts. This is not cookie cutter. This is not off the shelf of Walmart and put together. These guys invented this and had to invent the equipment and machinery to be able to produce this. Let me show you here, depending on what camera you have. So this one has two screws and it's mounting is let's say 19 by 19. You're gonna slide it in and you can get any sizes that you want and it comes with the ones that cover the most. But look how I'm gonna slide that right there. And then you get your mounted 3D plates. And then all you do is simply place, oh God, it just fell. <laughs> it just fell right in place. But look at that. Smooth as a whistle, soft as a button, strong as a titan. Whatever. I'm not a good referencer. So what we're going to do now is we're going to take our driver and we're going to lock down two screws. Boom and boom. And this camera would not go anywhere. Let me knock that out because if you're putting in a camera that only has one mounting screw, no biggie. You drop this puppy in and looky here. You put your one screw in the center and your camera is locked in place. It fits the DJI 03 camera beautifully. It fits right in and you tighten up your screws. You got the mounts to do it. It comes with the frame. What if I want to fly an action camera? Because I do. I fly a big old clunker. I use the Hero 11 and not the mini one, the big one. And you're going to need something to be able to do that already figured out. You've got the screw where it passes through. You've got the receiver right there where it accepts the screw and it's got a lip right here that is printed and strong and you drop that in. Boom! Look at the way that meets. Sealed perfectly all the way around. And there you go. <laughs> and this opens up. Bam! Slide your camera in. Something that you get that I normally don't see is two battery straps. Generally, you only get one. These aren't regular battery straps, and it's it might be hard to show you, but these are actually Woven Titan Kevlar ready to go. I mean, I cannot show you the strength that is in this strap. And then not to mention your buckle is a welded metal buckle. So one of the biggest key features is how this frame goes together. All of your arms slide together and there is a centerpiece, a middle centerpiece. And here it is right here. And it's actually going to blow you away. Let me pull it out of the package. Look at this. Look. <laughs> what is that? What in the world is this? No, it's not loose. I'm not holding it together. It is a strong, solid piece. And it holds all of your arms. Bloop, 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 bloop. And then you punch a screw through the middle. It locks and grabs. So you're going to put your arms in. All your arms go in just like yay. They are one screw hot swap. That means if you break an arm, which... It's going to happen. It's just not going to happen as often on a six millimeter arm with a strong frame. You're going to pull out this one simple little screw. You're going to slide out this arm. You're going to slide in a new arm and you're going to lock that one screw back down. You got to love that. You really do. But where this comes in play, watch this. Ready? Yes, sir. So two things are happening with this. Number one, it is adding so much dampening that the harmonics of your frame is just... <laughs> there are no noise introductions that are going to interfere with the flight controller and cause flight issues. What that means is that this frame should fly nicer than just about any frame you've ever flown. What's also nice is when you lock this down... <clears throat> That inside foamy rubber stuff is going to smush. And when it smushes, it spreads. And when it spreads just a little bit, it grabs all the way around the tip of the arm and it just locks it in so it's not hard carbon on carbon. So it's almost like soft mounting your motors being installed on your frame. We can soft mount motors, but can you soft mount your arms with any other frame? I don't think so. So moving right along on the back end, you've got your 3D printed mount to hold your antenna. You've got your battery pad, but what you didn't know is it's very similar to UmaGrip. Watch this. I'm going to take this battery and I'll push it down and look at that. Fuck. Watch this. Look at that. I am literally holding this entire frame by the battery. <laughs> 
Yes, sir. Ready? Ah. Oh, that's a good battery pad right here. Yeah. So, pilots, right here are your standoffs. And these are super strong. They really are. They are sandblasted 7075 aluminum standoffs. That is going to do it for the key features of the frame. I would like to roll through some basic specifications so you know what you're dealing with. This is a compressed X frame geometry. You've got 12.9 hardened steel hardware. That means all of your nuts are 12.9 hardened steel. They are strong, all of this stuff. Super strong, super strong stuff, okay? You've got a 225 millimeter wheelbase. So what does that mean? That means that you can fit up to 5.2 propellers. So all your frames that can't run the 5.1s, that kind of drive you nuts. I mean, I don't know how often that happens anymore, but this one runs up to 5.2, so that's super cool. All right, so your stack mounting. Your stack mounting is 30 by 30 or 20 by 20. The only thing that you need to know about this is you have to make that decision before you build the frame. Can you undo it and change it? Yes, but why do that? Put it together once, put it together right, just make sure you purchase the stack that you're gonna use, and if it's 20 by 20, set up for that configuration. If it's 30 by 30, set up for that configuration. Your motor mounting is a standard 16 by 16, so it'll fit all of your faves. You've got your camera mounting. Now, this goes up to 20 by 20. It fits the O3 camera, original DJI camera, Caddx Nebula Pro, etc. On and on and on and on. This camera cage will fit them all just about, okay? Within reason, all right? Your VTX mounting, that's back here. You can see it. You've got 20 by 20. You've got 25 by 25. And it fits the new O3, Caddx Vista, Walk Snail. All right, pilots, I think I rest my case on this. What you need to know is this frame is not cheap. I know you were waiting on this part. How much is it? Because you're probably sold. You're probably ready to put one in your cart right now. But what you need to know is how much does it cost? So if we jump onto the website, you're going to see if you go ahead and try to put it in your cart, it is $110 whether you get gray or orange. And you can pick and choose. Okay. Ugh. I know. I know. You're thinking the same thing I'm thinking, and that's a lot of money for a drone frame, right? Well, let's be honest, okay? You could buy five, four, three, two, I don't know how many of your other drone frames that are cheaper. You're going to break them, you're going to burn through them, and then you're going to have to buy another one anyways. Why not buy the better frame that's going to last longer? And guess what else it's going to do? It's going to protect your components because it's a stronger frame keeping everything snug and safe and inside and warm and cozy during crashes. So that's your call to make. It's a lot of money, but it's super cool. One last final touch that I'd like to go over is right here. You've got actual nylon injection motor wire covers. So you're going to just pop those on over your motor wires like yay. I have it backwards. Ready? Boom. And as you can see on each and every arm, you are protected. And then underneath, you're going to mount your skids. Here they are right here. And these are also injection molded. They are not 3D printed. They'll go underneath just like that protecting your screws that are holding your motors. Now, It's FPV has also ventured a little bit into the other game, so I'd like to show you this. These are official, authentic T-Motor motors, so if you like T-Motor, you're going to like these because they're designed and configured by It's FPV, but they are manufactured in the T-Motor factory, and they're absolutely gorgeous. They really, really are, and I'm excited to try them out on this build. They're a 2208. This one is a 1750 KV. Me, personally, I really like the olive green color look at that and i don't know if the camera's doing justice but when i look at it here in person it's like a a matte olive green and it's really nice and i'm looking forward to putting that on there and getting this thing built so all right pilots that is going to do it for the it's fpv era drone frame i am super excited about this i hope that you guys will run out and get your own era fpv frame i hope that you guys are wanting to see the build video and the bash test because i know i am i hope that you guys had as much fun as i did and i will see you on the next one <laughs>